it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. There we go, record is on on the camera. Just for my viewers, I have a, uh, I have a guest who uh, I don't know how well you'll be able to hear her because she's coming through on, we're, we're chatting on um, Facebook, mess, well I don't know if it's Messenger, we're on Facebook anyway with audio. She can see what I'm doing. What are we going to call her? What are we going to call you? Are we going to use your I name? No yeah, but use something that... You know, are, are you going to be? Are you going to be the three-handed chef, or are you going to be Pebble? Uh, or do you want to either just? Either one is fine. There's no objection to either one. Pebble is easier. It's probably safer too. <laughs> <laughs> if my chef people knew what I was doing, that they would want to watch. Well. And then you would get comments. And... If this gets uploaded, I will give you the URL, and you can. Okay. Share it with them. So I, I hope I hope viewers that you can hear what Pebble is saying. We have been friends for a very very long time. <laughs> and only met it's true. Yeah. Only met her a, a few months ago eventually because you might How weird was that? Yeah. It was actually less weird than I expected, because when you know someone online for decades, you sort of get an image, but it was a lot less weird being with you in person than I expected. Ah, what's the, uh, okay. What have you done? Uh, saving. I don't know, there, there is, for, for the viewers, there is no plan here, we're just, Pebble can see what I'm doing, she can see the game, and uh, hear what I'm saying, and Hopefully you can hear what she's saying, and and we're just twatting about, really. Is that Los Angeles? Um. Well, yes, kind of. It's um, Los Santos in San it Andreas. So yeah, it's, it's LA. It's a really good depiction. That's that's like I would have guessed that. You haven't got the Hollywood Hills. You've got the Vinewood Hills, and it, I guess, looks. Well, Nick's wife's is that his wife's car or his daughter's car? I think it's his wife's car. His car's boring. Can't remember how to drive. You get a real car. Can you like beat someone up and steal one? Oh yeah. Get a good beater. Get something good and old that goes fast. Well, there there are good old cars and bad old cars, and I'm wearing the wrong glasses. I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Also, drive on the wrong road where you were. Uh. Like the English. Uh, yeah, I know it's it's all <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> I sort of slightly know my way around slightly. Um, I think it's this way to the Vinewood Hills. It's good going out that way, and then you can go into the desert. There's you got three characters in this. Um, I don't know. Have you have you played? Much, if any, Grand Theft Auto, like the earlier ones? Now, my ex, affectionately known as Dickhead, mm -hmm. played a lot of video games, and that is why he's my ex. But I really didn't have a lot of patience to watch. Most of the time I was sitting there thinking, why is that motherfucker sitting there playing games and he should be doing what he is? <laughs> but it's entertaining when other people play, because their grass ain't long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move this camera, I'm going to put it closer to the, um, the the speaker and then zoom it in just because it occurs to me they're probably going to struggle to hear you. No, probably a good thing. Ah, nonsense. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Because now the other camera is going to be in the shot. Okay, we can go with that. Maybe. That should work. Yeah, we've got the other camera in the shot. I can probably move that just a little bit. Oh, what'd you do to it? 
I, I moved the um, the camera that's going to be uploading to YouTube so that it's nearer the speaker so that you can be heard a little bit better. Um, but that left this camera in the shot, so I've, I've moved it and you can still see and they... <laughs> yeah. Stuff. <laughs> Let me turn you up a bit. Up a bit. Volume, where's volume? There's volume. There we go. Speak a bit so we can tell how loud you are. Hello? I'm here. Okay. I'm just trying to, because uh, I've got no idea how loud you're going to be on the on the camera, or in fact how loud I'm going to be. I'm a bit further away from it than I would normally be, and I'm lost. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> so um, remind me not to do the car with you. But why? I don't know. Well, this... <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, a jelly. See, that can only end in water, which in your case is not a promising thing. Oh, disappointing. <laughs> Maybe go really fast and see if you can break through. Well, that, yeah. Now, <laughs> what do you think? This is like bollards and everything in the way. What is that car supposed to be? Is that oh. like a beamer? <laughs> oh, <it's> <laughs> Disappointing. I wanted to put it in the pool. I know, right? I, I don't know what it is, actually. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, it's, it's like halfway between a Volkswagen and a BMW. So an Audi. That can't... Okay, where do you get the good ones? <laughs> um... Like a rumored truck. Get something really, like... I could nick that. If I can catch up. Semi's not bad, but... Oh, did you just bitch slap her? I didn't. I, I got the wrong button. <laughs> just oh because. Just because. I want the lorry. See, they won't know what you're talking about. In LA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a word over there. Yeah. No. Holy crap, look at that. A Volvo's not bad. Was it a Volvo? Didn't you just want that? Uh, what are they all screaming about? It's LA, everybody's used to gunfire. Yeah. Well, these two are alright. They're, they're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> They've seen worse. And these two are stoned out of their boxes. And who can blame them? <laughs> that that looks like a Maserati. We'll have that. <laughs> Gimme. You're like, yeah, that's mine now. Nice color. Yeah. I think it's a. It looks like a Maserati from the front. I'm not sure about the back. Yeah, I don't know. It's not bad, though. <laughs> Hello. Yay, we're going to get chased. <laughs> Dude, really Is Lojack a thing here? Is what now? Lojack. What is that? Oh, Lojack. Lojack is a thing you can buy in the States and put on your car, which is like a silent theft deterrent system, which is whenever you, like if your car gets stolen, you call Lojack and say, activate my Lojack. And then every cop car in the universe has a Lojack detector. So they can find where your car is. Like, it, like it, I don't know how to explain how it finds it, but it locates your car. A GPS tracker. Yeah, or some version of that. I don't know how it works. I don't know anything about the technology, but I do know that's how it works. And if you can afford your Lojack, it basically renders your car useless to steal because every cop in the universe hears it ping when, when they're anywhere near it. They, oh yeah. 
they have tracking devices in the UK that I think are tracked private, privately. Um, more than that, I don't know. Um, I, you kind of don't hear about the police going on stolen car chasing rampages and not, not using trackers anyway. Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> It's an island here. I guess it's like Hawaii. Like, there's nowhere to take a stolen car. <laughs> so it just... Ah. <laughs> Where are you going to go with it? I think... I don't know. Mostly around here, it's like kids were... It, twocking, they talk, call it. Taking without consent. They nick it, they go joyriding, and then they dump it and burn it. Um, That's rude. Yeah. There was a lot of that in Milton Keynes. So it's not such a thing around here. Most of the people around here can't afford a car. Although, I don't suppose it would be really... I mean, my truck would be a little too conspicuous to take off with. Yes, tell the viewers what you've got. <laughs> I have a 1977 one-ton Chevy Suburban that I have owned since 1989. I have put over a million miles on her personally in five engines, all of which either I have installed or rebuilt. And it's... Pretty incredible looking and blue. <laughs> She's hideous, man. She's a rust bucket. She's <laughs> awful. I wasn't going to mention I mean, it. She, well, I've had her in places like LA because nobody looked twice at her. She looks like she's just come over the Mexico border, man. Nobody nobody wants her. Unless you open the hood, you would never guess she's mechanically sound. Just to look at it, you'd be like, oh my God, what kind of Uncle Ike owns that thing? But how's no, the, no. She, she, how's, what's up? how's the restoration going? At, well, okay. Um, at the moment, she has been adopted by one of my bosses, who he has a '67 Camaro. He has one of the coolest things on wheels, and he's a boy. He's not even 30 yet. He's just a kid. But he has borrowed my truck in order to fix her, so that he can practice on something which is mechanically nearly identical. And you don't really want to learn on a 67 Camaro. That's like, that's not one you want to make your mistakes on. So he has Growly, and at the moment, her transmission, the last time I drove her in any serious ah, way, road kill. was from New York. What's up? Roadkill. Oh, is it a deer? Yeah. See, a deer takes out a car in America. <sighs> Seriously, yeah. like there's a little mud jack puppies here, but they're not they're not big enough to really take out a car. I've been in a taxi that nearly hit a red deer, but I was in a car that bumped a deer, and when I was a kid, a deer ran into the side of our car while we were driving. <laughs> that was a whole other thing, anyway. Oh. <laughs> it's a shame. So, you, you, yeah, go on, carry on. The, the, I don't know what to call him here, my, my little boss, he, um, he has pulled out her transmission. The last time I drove her was from New York to, to Texas, and she didn't actually have a working transmission. I had no reverse, which was interesting considering it, I was towing another car. <laughs> so I had a car and a tow dolly and no reverse, plus a wolf, a cat, and a, a ferret with me as well. So it was, it was kind of a dramatic move anyway. Her transmission has now been dropped out of her and is in the back compartment. <laughs> However, at that point is when he got married. About, oh, I guess it's been 10 months since he got married. He is already divorced because oh. that chick did nothing to treat him wrong. And like a smart boy, he got the hell out. And it put a lot of the work on the truck on hold. However, he will be back doing that very shortly because he is kind of recovered his life in the last, I don't know, two weeks. The divorce is just the final. Divorce and... But and, she was not a Yeah. Divorce and separation and things like that allow you to get your life back. Holy crap. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. <laughs> Speaking I had my I had the biggest divorce party. Because I was married for, I don't know, 20 years. And the divorce party, we'll call him the king, the one who has the castle. He's, he's another one of my employers. He's, he's wonderful. And he threw me a divorce party. That I got so abysmally drunk, but had such a great time. And probably 40 people showed up to my divorce party, and we just had a great time. 
that was only about a day and a half party as opposed to some of the longer <laughs> parties. Like, Damn. yeah, Greg, Greg 40th, Greg 40th went for four days. And this last oh. time I was there, it was, it was, um, it was Sam Jam's birthday and Sam Jam's birthday went on for three. So it really just depends how much time everybody has for a given party. That was a good one. It just occurred to me, I've been playing along here and it's had audio going with commercial music. I hope it's not loud enough to get picked up. <laughs> you can't hear that. You, can you, not, you can't hear it from your end? No. no I'll turn it off now. I don't know I guess where... that indicates an electric fence. Hmm? The sparking, so that indicates an electric fence, so there's no guard dogs, obviously. I don't know. I think the sparking was, was that not just me running through the fence and, and I don't know. I don't know. Touch your fence, see if it's electrified. <laughs> no, that's fine. Alright. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not dead. So we're up in... There is a sign up here, you know, where you would have the Hollywood sign. There's a, a big sign that says Vinewood and I think it's in this neck of the... Yeah, there it is. We're behind it. Ooh. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good piss take. <laughs> so does uh, LA look... Have you, have, you, have you been up? I have. I spent, actually, Jesus, I was in LA during the Rodney King riots, <laughs> living in my truck, and I was afraid to leave because I was, I was staying in a driveway in North Hollywood, really not a good place to be, even when there are not riots going on, but they were taking people, well, everything started burning as soon as it got dark. Glass breaking, fires started, like, forget it. I wasn't trying to get out then. But they were pulling people out of cars and then either burning or taking off with cars, and I obviously wasn't going to risk my truck. No. So I stayed, in, I stayed in the driveway just sleeping in the car for, God, I don't know, two weeks. It really quieted That's... down after just a few days, but I... I really had no particular place to be and I didn't want to take a chance until I could I knew I could get far enough. I was headed for Vegas after that. Yeah. We had oh I'm trying to remember what year it would have been. Two thousand and eleven I think. It might have been two thousand two thousand ten or eleven. We had a period of time where the kids in this country realized if they broke the law en masse there weren't enough police to stop them. So they did. And it, it kind of started off with with protests and then riots over a, a shooting of a, a person. And then it all just like spread to the whole of the country and you just had kids rampaging and setting fire to stuff. And there was about a week of it, which just doesn't happen in this country, but there it was. It's kind of strange because, obviously, as an American, being here, the cultural differences on that are pretty extreme. Like, I guess I've seen a lot of it, for one, I'm old, and for two, I've lived in a lot of places, and I grew up in New York. So, growing up in New York City, you see a lot of violence, group violence and other, just because it's a really packed place. Mm. L.A. was definitely more violent. I did not like living in L.A. I, I was there, I don't know, total about three months. But it was the weather that actually bothered me even more than the city, because it's it's like living on a movie set. It's 72 and sunny every day, and it's like, what the fuck? I just, I can't really handle the, I think it rains like 18 days a year there or something. It just, it's so weird. I just couldn't get used to the eternal sunshine and My neutrality. My impression of like New York versus America, having never been there and so obviously not knowing what the hell I'm talking about, but just from what I see on the telly, my impression is New York is full of people who are angry, where LA is full of people who are crazy. But I don't know if that's how it is. <laughs> that's not entirely inaccurate. That's actually a pretty funny observation. <clears throat> no, what it is in New York is that everybody's busy. Everybody is overextended. Everybody has too much work, too much responsibility, too much family, too many friends. Like, life is just too much. So that whole, you, you know about the joke of, you know, 
Uh, never mind. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't tell the city hall joke. Do you know the city hall joke? Uh, it doesn't ring a bell. You may have told me, but um... okay. This is this is the standard New York welcome to New York joke, which is that a tourist comes to New York one day, and he's very lost, and he's looking at his map, and he's looking at his guidebook, and he can't find his way. So he stops a random passerby, his you know businessman in suit and suit and tie and all that, and he stops and he says, "Excuse me, you know the way to City Hall." And the guy turns around and goes, go fuck yourself. Oh, yeah. So, he, you know, he's surprised and he says, all right, okay. So he decides, this time I'll ask a lady. Maybe it won't go so badly. So he asks an older lady, but she's also rooting through her purse and she's trying to answer a phone call. And he says, do you know the way to City Hall? She says, go fuck yourself. So finally he asks a couple more people and he gets the same response. And in despair, he turns to a nun and he <laughs> says, excuse me, do you know the way to City Hall or should I just go fuck myself? That's the joke. But basically, yeah, that's kind of the problem. Like, it, like, I don't want to go political like 9-11 or anything, but when, the, when there is a natural disaster or any serious issue, New Yorkers are the first to band together. They will give you the shirt off their back. Mm. If you are wasting their time, however, they will shred you. Like, it just... It, it's an issue of everyone just is packed together in a very small space and there's a really low tolerance for bullshit. However, there's a lot more sarcasm and humor than they would appear to be. Yeah. Lon in, in the UK, London is, well, just my experience, the closer you get towards London, the less friendly people are, and probably that, if I upload this, will upset an awful lot of people. But that's, it's like, <laughs> I lived in the South most of my life, Norton Kings, is, it's in the South. And then I came to Worksop, which is a dump, but it's in the north. And, <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> and people. That was a good. Oh, you're still going. You're still going. I'm still going. <clears throat> people, I like that one. That was good. People here are. Okay, the, cle the clever people left. Um, I, I moved here, so that don't know what that says about me. So. People here are limited, but they're friendly. And that's, the north is just a more friendly place, though certain parts of it are pretty scary. But, um, yeah, the nearer you get to London, uh, for a while I just thought it was north friendly, south unfriendly. But if you go further south and you go south of London, it starts getting friendly again. It's like you get down to Devon and Dorset and Cornwall, lovely. So it's, I think it is proximity to London. People are just, it is probably that busy thing, maybe, I don't know, but it's certainly... Um... I think I think it's a lot of, you can't, I mean, they did it with rats, if you put like three rats in a tank, they get along, if you put ten rats in the same size tank, they start killing each other. It just, I think it's how desperate is everybody for their resource or their yeah. own space. I mean, it becomes, because that is what makes people defensive and hostile, and everybody's desperate and a little overwhelmed and everybody acts like an asshole in that position it, it says a lot for the state of this country at the moment because that's kind of weird i still like it better here to be honest and that that's probably a terrible thing to say but i'm, I'm torn I, I used to i've been all over probably part of it you know I've, I've been to every state and i've lived in most of them not a military brat just you know restless yeah. But coming here, I lived it. I spent I don't know about a year and a half in York, which I really liked. I mean, York, and that's definitely up north. That's yeah, very. Until you get up to here as well, you're not looking at much more north. So I, I really, there's, there's a direct gruffness to Yorkshiremen that I really enjoy because it is not unlike New Yorkers. They very much there's call that, a spade a spade in Yorkshire. Like, yeah, well, I married a Yorkshireman, so it just the second time. And I do love that, and I tease him much with the very usual phrase of, you can always tell a Yorkshireman, but you can't tell him much. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> I like oh, that. You I win, I made you laugh, you didn't hear that one. <laughs> and English, Jim, that's brilliant. Yeah, I've not heard so, that yeah, one. So, yeah, <clears throat> You're a hopeless man. Sorry? <laughs> Holy shit! 
I, they're on the wrong side of the road. Don't they know we drive? No. <laughs> when it's all of them, this is one of those things where you're just better off going with the flow. Yeah. Oh, this is good. I'm, I'm waiting for a gap. I want a gap so I can get through. I'm not going back the other way. There's no, gap. There's no gaps in American. We need a gap. There's got to be a gap. They're really, they're only for police to turn around. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a gap. Oh, there, there's a gap. That'll do. Hey, right, you get off. Clearly. Go away. Go <laughs> She's thinking he was a hitchhiker. <laughs> Holy crap. So I'm a park ranger. You're not going fast enough either. Sorry? You're not going fast enough. No. I've, I, it's a bit knackered. I've, I've duffed it up a bit. I should still another. Yeah, it's a bit dented. You should pick something good and worth all. Well, I'm heading yeah. out to the, I'm heading out to the You're desert. You're gonna need another kit soon. Yeah, the desert is this way. <laughs> yeah. And there's Hi. there's cool Hi. stuff. Give me a bike. Give me. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there we go. Give me. Please know. tell me you're better at moving a motorcycle. Uh, we'll see. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, you, drive, um, you used to drive a moped, didn't you? <laughs> I Yes, I had a moped. I had a... My very first bike. I ha My viewers don't know this. My very first bike was a Honda Karen. Which is like, a, yes, it's it's a, a shopper moped. It's the sort with the basket on the front of the handlebars. That's adorable. No, it's not. <laughs> it's very lame. But I was sixteen and the, <laughs> the only kid in school with a moped for for a while. So even though it was incredibly naff, it was cool for a bit. And then all the other kids got. They they got. What's the license age here? What what? What's the driving license age here? Um, for a moped, sixteen. Um, for something bigger than that, and uh, the the law has changed on it since. But for a, a motorbike like one two five or more, or for a car, seventeen. Unless they've changed it wow. since then. I was 14 and a half when I got my learner's permit, and I was 15 when I got my driver's license. And how old were you when you were actually driving? Nine. <laughs> my, first miles, my first 500 miles, I was 11 years old. I drove from New York to Philly. It's well, I'm not driving. My mom, <laughs> my mom taught me to drive because she needed someone in the house in case of an emergency that could drive, and my brother was useless. So it was just, it was more of an issue of having the backup and I did actually have to do it once she got stung by a bee and I had to drag her to the car and drive her to the neighbors so it was actually not a bad thing that I knew how to drive but I was definitely more than willing to drive my friends it was it was a Chevy Corsica that I drove I still remember the car as a white Chevy Corsica it was a good car actually and they were really new back then I've not even heard anyway. of one of them huh I've not even heard of one of them I've lost the desert I don't know which side of where it is, I want... You've lost the road! Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a shortcut. <laughs> I don't know where to. So, you know, in real life, you just aim toward the lights because the city glows. Holy crap, you're going to crash. <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't want... Sorry, you shouldn't have been that. There's a place... Can you get to Vegas from this game? No. Which is a shame. Oh, it is a shame. That's the best part of LA is going to Vegas. I don't. Th no, I don't think you can. Yeah, mainly you've got like the main LA city and um, a bit of desert and water. Yeah. I don't, I don't. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> I wanted to see you go flying off that. We can do that. Well. <laughs> oh no, here we go again. Oh. Oh. 
go, here we go, here we go. And I can swim. Come on. Now, where's the submarine? There is a submarine in this game in the story. I don't think, I don't know of one that you can get just while twatting around, which is a shame. Aww. You can get boats and jet skis and I don't know what else. There is a little island around here somewhere that it's got a guy sitting on it. In fact, there are two guys and they're just sitting there around a the campfire smoking crack or something. Um, well, that's LA for you. Yeah. I don't know if it's this island around here. It's pretty. Uh, <laughs> Can I, you steal a hang glider? Um, I don't think there's a hang glider. You can definitely steal a helicopter gunship. And I can, I can fly. In real life or here? No, 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 not so much in real life, no. <laughs> More no than yes, yeah, okay. <laughs> I would say, yeah. Um, I, I don't know, I mean, if you were to put me in a helicopter, if the controls were the same as a, a drone quadcopter, but they're almost certainly not. So, uh, no. I think I understand. Actually, that's one of my, my particular bitches with the Matrix. You know, because I am, I am literally, if my camera were a thing, then you could see I am literally sitting here crocheting granny squares while we're, like, chatting. <sighs> and in the Matrix, they can learn how to fly a helicopter in, like, 0.4 seconds, but nobody can learn a knit. They're all wearing ripped sweaters. What is that? That is a very good point. Yeah. I mean, somebody should just have that program downloaded. Yeah. I mean, it's like, okay, maybe they haven't got any wool, but just pull apart the jumper they're wearing and re-knit it. That's what I'm Yeah. That's... That, that had never crossed my mind. That's... See, folks. The advantage of an oldie. I'm older than you. Yeah, but it's different. Yeah, you're weird. <laughs> you knew that. The dog is getting, one of the dogs is getting a huge kick out of this. She's leaning on me, it's tiny. Yeah. She's just leaning on me and she's like, that's kind of interesting. And, and Zoe's out in the hallway going, I don't like this at all. Oh, you know, she, is it the disembodied uh, she, voice? Well, the furry, the furry face man is coming through the computer and it's just freaky. Uh, she has opinions, but Tiny's <laughs> into it. I wanted to kick their bins over and rummage through them because, you know. You can't. Oh, there you go. See now, in America, in real life, any place like that, raccoons or coyotes would have already done it. We get foxes. They will do that. But mostly, if, if your bins have been trashed, it's cats. Here we go. <laughs> he's, he's an angry man. He does look like one. He's also an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, some of the practices. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't kick it. I can't kick it. Oh, I'm probably the wrong button. It reminds me of a dickhead. Yeah. That's disturbing. <laughs> well, I could drown him. Don't tempt me. Actually, I haven't heard from Dickhead in a really long time because Skype, for some reason now, is only allowing you to log in under, like, a Microsoft address. Yes. On Android devices or something, and... Uh, it's kind so of... So I, I probably have... Any... What's that? I think Skype has been like that for a while. It's, uh, it, mine, it only lets me use me Hotmail thing now. I think. I haven't used Skype in years. I only use it for for dickhead. So I tried emailing the last email address I had for him, and there's been no response. So I don't know whether that's no longer a valid email or if he's just not bothering. But it's probably I haven't spoken thing. to him in. Well, the last oh, I shouldn't gossip about that. <laughs> <laughs> Since we divorced, he's still living in his parents' house, in his childhood bedroom. 
And the last I knew, he was thinking about asking his professor out, who's married. What? <laughs> How can that end neatly? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. That's... I mean, I wish him the best in the most his like sense oh. of I wish him no specific harm. What are you doing to that car? I, trash, I only just stole it. And I, uh, oh, here we go. Is it a self-rolling car? That was ridiculous. I, I did that with my telekinetic powers. Alright, that'd be a good skill to have. Yeah. It it is it's kind of forgiving in that if you do roll a car you can use the, the trigger buttons to roll it back if you're lucky. I still haven't Ooh. found where I want to go. There there, oh, sorry. there is a desert that's a cool place. Um and less stuff for you to hit? <laughs> um not so much. <laughs> Fewer mountains to fall off of. I have no, thrown I, I've thrown vehicles off of the top of most of these mountains just to say that I have, you know, it's like there's a mountain I haven't I thrown a... There is a really, really tall mountain. Not. Oh look at that bridge, man. Tell me you've thrown yourself off that. Where where? That. Um above you. Let's let's see if we can get up onto that. <laughs> I mean, that looks worthy of throwing a vehicle off of. <laughs> oh, God. You're like, screw the road. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Oh, Ascension. shit. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a train. <laughs> it looks like a Ford. So I don't oh, God. That's different. Chase the train. <laughs> and that's how to turn around quick. Oh, that didn't work. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, train. You can do it. Brrr, oh, oh. I have. <laughs> the, the trick. I mean, I've jumped onto these trains. They're fun to just sit on and, and like, be a passenger and look at the scenery go by. But the fun thing is to try and land a vehicle on them. And that's not... Really? Yeah, it's not altogether easy to do. Um, I'm trying to remember if I've done it or not. I know I've tried many times. Where well, this right. might lead you to the desert anyway. It looks like it's flattening out. Yeah. I'm gonna cheat and use the map. Hello. What's this person doing? He doesn't look friendly. No, he, he wants to fight with you. Probably. I think he's kind of. And who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> Map. Here we go. Okay. Where's... Ah, there we go. Now, there's a there's an airfield here with a plane, so we're going to go there. I can't... There's, two, there's a couple of airfields, and one's got a helicopter and one's got a plane, and the plane is like, yeah, I can fly that, but it's kind of boring, but helicopters are fun. And there is a helicopter. <laughs> There's a... Oh, this car's knackered. I've got to steal a new one. What's in the... What's in the container? In the what now? Container. The orange container. There must be a good car in there. Don't think it's open. Like, that matters. When I was doing my um, open university design course thing, couple of years ago I designed a habitat out of four containers like that sort of buried with a, a tube that goes down to them and uh, and the tube then went up and had a house on top of it kind of like a tree house sort of thing which was kind of cool I got a really good score for that I just thought why don't they do this awesome <laughs> Do they have Habit Trail here, or is that not a thing? Have what now? Habit Trail. It was like this little system of like boxes and tubes that you put your hamster in, and you could make whatever shapes out of it you wanted to. They have something like that, yes. I had one of them. Um, many. Oh, I want one of them. I, I don't know what it was called, but uh, yes. But, Rotor stack or something like that, or maybe that's something completely Naturally. different. 
Yeah. Oh, okay, we'll have that. That looks cool. That's an old reveal. Yeah. Or a Buick. It's old, whatever it is. I like it. Yeah, oh. it's either an old Buick or I can't tell. Yeah. Well, neither one nor the other on this game. They're kind of not brands. Yeah, but that's what it is. My grandmother had the greatest Buick. My grandmother, being who she was, she had a taste for the finer things in life, and it had this speedometer setting that it used to go eh, as soon as you went over 65, which my father would set to 65, and then she'd give me 20 bucks to set it to 90. So we'd go out on the Long Island Expressway. Yeah, we got out on the Long, Long Island Expressway and just jammed down the like, She was awesome. Phone. A real phone? It's the phone. It's my phone. Yeah, hang on a minute. I'm gonna. Are you gonna answer it? You stay. Oh, gone. Okay. Was it important? It isn't. Wife. <laughs> oh yeah. You gotta go do the quickly thing. I I. I um... Bear with. Stay here. I mean, been... Stay here. I'm gonna <laughs> go and take a, a, a. I'll go and talk out off off mic since I'm still recording. So uh, talk okay. to the talk to the viewers. They can hear you. <laughs> what they say? I don't even know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you like. Oh, should I tell the history of Fenway? I mean, what do I know of Fenway? That would no. That's probably not fair. Um, however, we did meet a very long time ago on IRC, which at the time, I guess it was probably under net, although. Both of us predate that by some bit. And I seem to remember we argued immediately about what was North and South England, which, of course, I wouldn't have known Jack about being an American. I was just arguing for the sake of arguing because I like pissing him off. But um, for whatever reason, we kept talking and it became more stupid jokes that became more stupid jokes. And that's gone on for the last... God, very long time, many, many years. Although these days, when we talk in text, we pretty much speak exclusively in GIF, assuming that's how that's said, where we send the stupid little pictures that move back and forth and on every topic, and we're guilty of Invader Zim much of the time, but actual text is, is becoming obsolete. I mean, we, we I like being a smoky old black lady waving my hands at him, you know, the, the, the gifts are great because you can really express any ridiculous sentiment. And most of what we talk about are ridiculous sentiments, and that works really well. This thing is, is completely new, where we actually chat in audio. I was really bad at that back in the, the Yahoo days, simply because I didn't get it. <laughs> oh shit, I screwed up my here somehow. I couldn't tell you how. Anyhow, Yahoo required like a headset and a microphone thing, and I used to do sound and lights for high school, so if you put a headset on me, I go mute, because you don't make any noise on those if you want a, a good show. So I basically didn't say anything, and that made me not much fun to talk to. Although now it, it, these are a bit easier and there's no headset involved, so... I'm making the attempt to wrap it pointlessly about all sorts of things. And I have something very wrong with my crochet. Requiring me to pull out quite a bit of it. Maybe next time, if there is a next time that we do this, I'll try to put the camera on. But at the moment, uh, this is our first attempt. And I imagine he had better be back soon because I'm very much running out of anything to talk about. Hello. Good news, bad news? Uh, no news? No news, just stuff. Yeah, things and stuff. Mm -hmm. Stuff and things. I'm going to have to move my end of this downstairs to start making dinner for the evening. I will bring this with me. Oh, okay. Want tiny? I don't tiny. Oh, can, can you still see tiny. what's... Can you see? Uh -huh. what, can you see what's happening from? You're running people over. <laughs> yeah. I did... Yeah. I guess in LA plus you're driving. I'm just not surprised by this at all. 
22. Ooh, it's gonna rain or something. Here. There. I don't know what's there, but here it's like the wind's picking up and it's getting crazy crazy. For viewers who don't know, Pebble is uh, not in America right now. She's about 50 miles away from where I am. Indeed, I have I have absconded and now I live on this side. Civilization. Which I admit, well, I'm much better. Let me let me look the monstrosities out. Um, Tiny and Zoe are German shepherds. Should think. Yeah, on camera. Now the question is, okay. if I beat this guy okay. up, do you think, if I beat this guy well, up, can I nick his fishing gear? Well just take it and shove him in the water. I, I don't know how. <laughs> He's looking anxious. I don't blame him. I would. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you look like a thug. <laughs> There we go. Oh. You, oh no, this is overkill. Well, it, yeah. Now he can. Where's his gear? I can't. I don't. I can't. I can't pick. It's, it's gone. No, no. There, <gasps> there it is. There it is. But I don't think I can pick it up. That's disappointing. He's drowned. That was mean. Poor guy was just looking for some fish to kill. <laughs> Uh oh, copper. Don't shoot me. I. Oops. It was an accident, officer. <laughs> Turkey sausages. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, I'm not sure. I do, do I take the? Oh. oh, that's got no wheels. I can't take that. I don't know. Turkey sausages. Mm. I've never had them, but evidently they were on sale for Martin's delivery. Entirely. Oh. That, was, that was the food button. My dog kept telling me that they could see through the house. So when they want something, they simply step on the button. Right. Yep. And they jump on the food. Okay. One of the other tiny Oh, uh, where'd you get that? I missed that when I left the dog out. I nicked it. <laughs> now that's the kind of thing you want to do. Yeah. Oh no! I, I, like, I, oh I, no! I would. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Dude! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I would like one of these. Something, something a little more transit like, but yeah. These guys are. This is why I like, I, it. I like the desert. You know, that raises the airstream issue, but we won't do that. Yeah. That's not here yet. That's what now? And nobody can see what they are. I, well, it's a caravan that looks like a, a cigar thing tube. <laughs> oh, you found a road. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's, there's your. That was growly. No, we bigger than that. That was the wrong color, anyway. Get off. Yeah. I gotta get some pictures of her. Next time I go. I didn't want to pull out of time to see her last time. I I missed that the uh, police radio woman was talking over the top of you because she's just pig ignorant. <laughs> that airport is around here somewhere. 
And then we can lift I think you can still play. If there's a plane there, and I think there should be. The weather, yeah, there's a plane. Can I get to it before I get shot? Run. No. Oh, get in, get in, get in. Run. Oh. <laughs> I don't think this is going to... Oh dear, that's not working. <laughs> well, if you fly as bad as you drive, maybe it's just as well. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, I was wondering if you were going to take a step to that. Hello, Tiny. Yes, the sausage is in enough for you. She thinks they might be. Now I have no hot water because I've turned the boiler off because it's putting out heat. Like again, American systems are completely different from English systems and these sorts of things. So I can't actually make the heater turn off, which is fine, except today is like 70 degrees for no good reason. You should be able to have hot water without the radiators coming on. Yeah, the setting I don't know how to work. I gotta I gotta I'll ask you to have to show me at some point. It's just I never, turn, I never turn the heat on, so it's not usually an issue. Yeah. I've got a hot water tank in this room. And, uh, oh, you can just, just, there. No in-game violence whatsoever. Um, yeah, the, <laughs> the water tank is in here. Okay. So it's like... Whenever anyone has a shower or a bath or turns on a tap anywhere in this house, and it's a big house, I can hear it in here. And it's, it's just like, it's like turning on the sink in here, just the noise of it. I just hear flowing water, or hello, all the time. I guess you get your pumps for Christmas. I, music, mostly. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh. That made a mess. Yeah, it's, un it's, it's careless of them to leave it around like that. I know, right? What's wrong with you? Littering. Oh, gun. We'll have that. Oh, this one. This one. Yeah. I see places like this, and I just think, you could live somewhere like that, you know, if you, if you were living a minimalist life, all the, certainly all the homeless people in this country. Yeah, well, the problem is the homeless people in America live there too, and it's, it's pretty much cracked in, and uh, I mean, you got to come home in packs or not at all. It's just, it's, there are real hazards to living in places like that. Yeah. Oops, I died. The question is, should I make leftover potato leek soup for dinner or freeze that and make pizza? Mmm. Um, yes. <laughs> you def def Definitely one of those. Yeah, no, one of those for sure. Let me see what I can do. <laughs> I was, I was a poor housewife today. I did not do very much. I was not useful. You me, Tiny. What are these people doing? They are not wanted now, but these cops are doing something. We didn't miss that. What was that? Well, there's a bunch of cops here doing something or other, but they're not actually after... Hello. Well, what oh, dude, grab the car! One of them just laid down and died for no obvious reason. I didn't shoot him. They're probably shooting at you and they hit him. Well, no, I'm, I've, I've already died, so I'm not wanted anymore. I've, I've resurrected. Hmm. Um, there's one of the cops is Take dead. Take I think well, there's another dead guy here, so maybe they were shooting at him. Okay. Has he got a head? Yes, he has. Okay, well, while that cop's distracted, I'm going to nick his car. 
See, that's the problem with living in those places. Just too many cars and bodies and... Have you been <laughs> to this kind of part of America, like the, the desert sort of hip town yes. full of... Yes, I have. Weird, crazy... Qu I actually went across New Mexico, <laughs> although it's not as... It, it's definitely... It's more wily coyote territory than it is like this. But yes, I have definitely. I lived in Needles, California for a while, which is another really, really weird desert town. It's bizarre. Here is a dumb question. Whoops. What the hell's that guy doing? Um, <laughs> but also, what? Whoa. Well, what is New Mexico as compared to or opposed to or whatever Mexico? Okay. Mexico is another country. Yeah. New Mexico is an American state, and it stay, it's between um, Arizona and, oh hell, Arizona and Texas. Is it anything like Mexico? Like, um, arid and dry and full of crazy people? That's really Yeah. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen the Roadrunner cartoons? Yeah. That's what New Mexico looks like. I shouldn't say Mexico is full of crazy people, it's just the drug... I shouldn't say Mexico is full of crazy people, it's just the drug wars and all of that gives it a... No, 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 Mexico is Speedy Gonzalez. Right. So, thank you for a because, I mean, they are obviously... There are actually... I think you, you either broke up there or the woman on the radio talked over you. I think I've made my get. No, I haven't. I'm still being chased. I'm looking for something to freeze this in and not having much luck. You know those terrible like freezer options you have, the the plastic containers that you can never find the right lid for. Tupperware. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Having one of those. There's always a lid but no container, or a container but no lid. Yeah, having that problem. Or multiple lids and multiple containers, but none of them match. I'm going up that mountain. Whoa. This woman on the radio reminds me of, um, the, she's the dispatcher woman, oh, oh God, I'm not going to do it, on Twin Peaks. <laughs> do you know, you know the woman on Twin Peaks, there's the, the couple, there's the copper guy, and I can't remember, Andy, and his wife, I can't remember her name, neither of them are very bright at all. Oh, one who plays the secretary. Sorry? She plays the secretary? Yes. The dispatcher on yeah, here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the dispatcher on here sounds like her. <laughs> I actually need to see the news for the peaks. I haven't seen that yet. It's very good. Is it? it yeah, it is more obscure than um, original Twin Peaks series one or two. Those at least you had half a clue what was going on. They were sort of based in reality. Uh, the new Twin Peaks is just way, way out there. It's great. Is it like a black mirror thing? A what? I haven't seen that yet. Is it what yeah. now? Black mirror. I don't watch that. I. Uh, only time, oh god, the only Black Mirror one I recall ever watching was where the basically the Prime Minister shagged a pig, which was very. Um, <laughs> that, 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 I mean, that was great given the whole um, thing that came about a year later where, with um, David Cameron and the, the pig, pig's head. I don't know if you heard about that. Yeah. Um. But I've not seen any recent Black Mirror. But as an American, I have to say, I have a political conversation because obviously American politics right now are 
fucked up. Ruining. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I follow it. I just... I don't even know how to feel about that anymore. It's demented. But then the whole world's gone mental at the moment. Actually, there's a different thing I'd love to say on that. Yeah. In, in, it, it's totally unrelated, but it's not. It, it's, a, it's a bigger issue. My other half is the gentlest man God ever made. He is very much a gentle soul. He is the kind of guy who cannot walk past a homeless person without digging for every last piece of change and usually cash he has. Just, I mean, he's, he's that guy. Yeah. But he was, one of his Facebook friends said something to the extent of that Kavanaugh should be just taken out back and shot and there's no reason why he should even still be, you know, he shouldn't even get a trial. And of course, my other half said something to say that everyone deserves a trial, everyone, regardless of how wrong they are. Yeah. So this individual called him a rape apologist. Oh. No. And I'm thinking, that the rule of law not be perverted just because someone is a bad person to being a rape apologist. Yeah. The, the moment you stop giving people the right to a fair trial is the moment you are yeah, straight. It's it, fascism. It's a personal attack because he doesn't agree with her politics. Yeah. It, it, it's just, as soon as the rule of law doesn't matter, then you're into fascism and, and then you're going down a really dark path. Well, I'm about to tear this girl a new one because... I don't know where she gets off saying things like that because now you've made a personal attack with someone who has never hurt anyone yep. in the name of what trying to speak reason. And, but this is and people liked her comments as if these were valid. You know, let me let the girls out. Yeah. Uh, actually, let me see if he's at home because he may be in his way. I'm going down there. Really? You just wait. You can't be hungry again. Hmm? The dog. Ah. Uh, you can't hear the move. No. I'll put it closer so you can hear it. Ah! <laughs> That's what you're trying And what does I know. That, does that one mean I want to go out or I want food? No, she wants food. Right. The one that says outside is, um... Uh, you hear that one? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's different ones all over the house. Excuse me. Alright. <laughs> oh my god, get in this house. You are in so much trouble. <laughs> what now? <laughs> I don't know if that camera's still running. Oh, you are in trouble. Big upstairs. Right now. Well, both of you. Oh, I don't know which one of you did it. Somebody, um, should have asked to go outside sooner. Ah, uh, right. Left a deposit. Now. You two, go. Get in this house. Now. Hmm? Smells like burned rubber. Awful. What's this? Are you you're, what you you're cooking or what they've done? They're yeah. Any two minutes they're gonna clean this up. Yeah. Dogs. <laughs> they were my idea, right? 
they were. Oh, I nearly fell off a mountain. Come on, get up there, man. You do not want me to come up there right now. Mm What's beeping? Oh God, somebody clearly wants my attention. Yeah, is that text? <laughs> yeah. It's my little boss saying that he's happy for the first time since before he got married, and that's excellent news. Splendid. And it's my other half. My other half is having a conniption because his sister is being um. Uh, his sister. Not you know, mm. Yeah. His sister and my brother. Just, I don't know what that's all about, but they both need to grow the hell up. Yeah. All right, let's watch your game. That's much more fun. I'm in the mountains, or I'm, I'm climbing a mountain just because. And not, <laughs> not on a vehicle for a change, yeah. or in a vehicle. That actually looks like you're 70. Yeah. It's. I mean, if you haven't, you obviously haven't been. That is very much what it looks like. I, if if I was here, there, I would climb this. Um, You'd try. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's definitely than it seems to be. Like most of the ground, most of the ground slides, which um, is why there's so many slides. I have this thing where if I see a big hill and and it's physically possible and not too dangerous, I kind of have to climb it. Um, oh dear. Oh crap. Have you been up Snowden? No, I haven't. I've not, I've never been to Scotland. Uh, or is that in Wales? No, Snowden's in Wales. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I haven't been to Snowden. Okay. Yeah, out the mountains, you. I don't want to, I want to get up, I want to get to the top. I've been to, um, where were we at? Welsh City, forgotten the name of it. Not Cardiff, the other one. Like um, Carbon? No. Um, Swan Swansea. Is it Swansea? Mm -hmm. No. Maybe, a bit. I don't know what that's actually where um, Snowden is in Wales. Yeah. I, did do, I didn't make it. Well, we, we were in this Welsh, Welsh city, and there was like a big hill that we could see from the hotel. <laughs> And all the the week, most of the week that we were there, I was just looking at it and saying, "I want to climb that." And um, that's because you can see it from most of Wales. Yeah, it it wasn't that. It was it was just a hill. It wasn't a mountain. But I did. I went up it. And <laughs> I mean, it, it it wasn't it wasn't huge. It was just bigger than anything. Um, well, anything they had in Milton Keynes or Worksop. Milton Keynes, there was a complete lack of hills or anything, so it was like anywhere that I went with hills, I was like, oh, I've got to go up that. I definitely can't get up this from here. Disappointing. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Don't laugh at my pain! I'll just. I'll. I'll, I'll what's so, can that? these creatures any abuse? They still keep going? What's this? That he can take it's a rock. Yeah, I thought there was something there, but it's not. Um, they can take a, a, a major battering, but do something really stupid like I'm about to, and he will die. So. Sniper rifles are a thing. I was hoping that was going to be people. 
<laughs> no. Ah, got it. <laughs> well, what? I didn't want to do that. What did you do to yourself? I don't know. I think I am uh, uh, transferred myself into the other... There are three characters and I've just switched from him to someone else. I'm Weird. Him. I'm him now. This guy's got more money. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know if he has, but he's got a he's got a very cool car. You don't talk to me. You think I'm enjoying here. <laughs> yeah, I know what you did. I know what you did. And I know it was you. What did you do that for? You don't do that ever. Mm -mm. That's a bad dog. That's a very bad dog. No. Oh no. Cuddling up on me does not get you your way. Go away. Go to bed. I don't want to talk to you. I'd say you're on my shit list because it's you shit. <laughs> Is that what it... Right. I, I wasn't sure what kind of deposit she'd left you. Oh yeah. The kind that smells like a burned rubber skunk. That's, yeah, I, I know what that smells like. Yeah. Well, you'll notice that in our bathroom there, there are rubber skunks, because that's a standing joke. I, I can't say I noticed, but... Uh, there are two rubber skunks in there, small and large. But have you ever been... Oh, we've got music going, haven't we? We've got to stop that. There we go. Well, once I'm licensed, I'll come drag you back down here. Yes. Chris is talking about renting a car while, while here and teaching me to drive the pit. Yeah. Well, you can't. I mean, we'll need, see. You need, you need a. British license to um to be like accompany someone while they're learning. You need, you need to have had a British license for well, two years. Driving it in the yard. Ah, right. Okay, that would work. Yeah, you just need to get. You've used seen the yard driving here. Yeah. No, no, I'm not licensed, so I can't drive it anywhere. No. So. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, I just need to learn how to make the gears do the right thing, because that were. wasn't... I never learned because paralyzed leg, but after it was functional, I just never had access to a, a car that wasn't... Rowley has a left foot gas pedal. Ah. So is, is Growly an automatic or a manual? Uh, automatic. Yeah. Because, you know... Yeah. It just, there were never any sticks in the family for one. Nobody drive one, drives one, except my brother. And he didn't learn until he was in his late 20s. But John's cars, you know, he, he crashes a car about every year. And that totally, he drives like you do. <laughs> my driving in the real world is slightly better than this. Like, I've never hit anything yet, but I don't like to say that because the last person who said I've never hit anything then went and hit something. So uh, I've been hit, that's, but I've never, I have never yet. Right, hit the subscribe button, or I'm getting naked on camera. Go on. Do it. Right. You asked for it. Ah! You asked for it. Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah, uh oh.